it is humbling to be out in the deep blue hundreds of miles from land. Or in the Sargasso Sea, named after Sargassum, a free-floating seaweed dubbed the Atlantic Golden Rainforest. Under the cloud-like mats, there is an unexpected array of biodiversity. But along with our awe is also the shocking realization of what we are doing to it. There are also tinier pieces, hard to see, but everywhere. Each time we got into the water, we found countless plastic pieces, all different shapes and sizes. Most plastic is not dumped directly into the ocean. Much of what you see has been discarded on land, traveling thousands of miles and breaking up along the way. The Sargasso Sea in the North Atlantic is the world's only body of water without shores. It's defined by the currents of the North Atlantic gyre, currents that also carry with them our plastic filth, making it one of the five ocean garbage patches. Alexandra Gulick and Noreen Constant are marine biologists. Oh, these are bite marks, like animals taking bites. Really? Out of the plastic. Uh, you can tell the animals because they look like a half circle. The sargassum provides a habitat for baby turtles and fish, shrimp, plus hundreds of other marine organisms. In the oceans, degrading plastic becomes even more poisonous as it binds with other man-made chemical pollutants. All that toxicity ends up in the digestive systems of marine life and travels up the food chain all the way to our dinner plates. On board the Esperanza, a manta trawl collects water samples, part of a Greenpeace study into microplastics in this remote body of water and its broader campaign for a global oceans treaty. You can see quite a bit of plastic already just when it's in here. Has this been fairly common in most of the samples that have been coming up? Yeah, in most of the samples that we have been sampling while there was sargasso on the sample, we have seen a lot of plastics because, I think because they get entangled in the sargasso. The initial results of this study are alarming. In its samples, Greenpeace found similar or greater concentrations of microplastic to what they found in the notorious Great Pacific Garbage Patch last year. We need to change our consumption, our patterns, the way we rule the planet, the way we, we do uh, things. You have a son. Yes. When you see the way things are now, are you worried about his future? Yeah, I am. A lot. Because I think what uh, with this and with climate change, with what are we leaving them? It's insane. Being out this far from land, you can't help but be struck by how interconnected our world is and how destructive we are being to marine ecosystems. And with that, also to ourselves. Arwa Damon, CNN and the Sargasso Sea. Mm -hmm.